Dude, I've never actually what seen these. That? It's a Hummer. Dude. I do see one. I would need to ask if the, is that is that one in the lineup. All right, boys, we're taking the Hummer for a rip. Oh my God, I feel like we just did a wheel. No Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Before we jump, I gotta let you know that DraftKings is sponsoring today's video. The NFL playoffs are here, and I've teamed up with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official partner of the NFL, who is kicking things off with a huge offer. Throughout the playoffs, all new customers will get $200 in bonus bets instantly when they place their first $5 wager on anything. You can get in on the action this weekend by clicking the link down the description down below and checking out the DraftKings app and make sure you use promo code FLAIR. That's right, new customers that just bet $5 will get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Are you wondering what you can use those $200 in bonus bets on? You can combine multiple bets together from the same game for a shot at even a bigger payout. And if you're already signed up for DraftKings like me, you can get a no sweat bet. Get a bonus bet back if your same gay parlay SGPX bet doesn't hit. And if sports betting is not available in your state yet, do not worry. You can still join in all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy and have the chance to win cash prizes. So click the link down in the description down below and download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now and make sure you use promo code FLAIR and bet just $5 on any wager and you get $200 instantly in bonus bets. That's promo code Flair only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Link down in the description down below. Huge shout out to DraftKings for watching today's videos. Brands like them that I partner up with that allow me to do what I do every single day, which is making videos for you guys at home to enjoy. So with that being said, let's get back to the video. Shoo! What's going on, folks? That's right, that's right. I'm getting a new truck. Now hear me out. Okay, I want to hear Flair, I thought you were saving money for a pond. Listen, this truck that we're getting, we're going from two trucks to one. Okay, so we're actually, we're making money. Okay, we're probably not making money, but we're that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to reduce everything. Okay, as you know, we've sold some ATVs, we sold some four wheels, we sold a bunch of stuff. Basically, after the fall, we got through hunting season and a lot of the projects, and I was like, man, I feel like I don't need two trucks. Now, you might be wondering what trucks do you have? You guys already know the F-250 that got slammed by a trailer. Roll the clip. <laughs> That thing's seen some stuff. I've had that thing since 2019. I had that thing when I used to live in the city. Then I moved to the country originally in the OG house, and then we moved here. So, I mean, that thing's been with me for a long time. It been, honestly, it's been great, okay? It's got like 100,000 miles on it, and it's been, it's stood the test of time, okay? It's seen some stuff. I mean, I've driven it up to freaking uh, lots of places, okay? Put a lot of miles on it. But then I also have the Dually, and the Dually I got like a year and a half ago, like 18 or so months ago, because when I got the Dually, I also got a gooseneck trailer, and that's when we were not hot shotting, but basically, we're we're traveling to different locations. We're going down to the ranch. We're hauling skid loaders and equipment, whatever. Now that we're here, most of my projects are here or they're at the lease and the lease isn't that far. And so there's no need. I mean, I'm not saying like I'm going to sell the gooseneck because I could still potentially pull the gooseneck with like a 2,500 size. The purpose of the dually was for hauling. Somebody could drive that vehicle. We could haul equipment. I could drive my truck and also haul equipment and get all of my stuff. I mean, I've got tractors and skid loaders and all that stuff. Get it all down there. We just don't do that much anymore. We're, our projects are focused here and again at the lease. And so I was like, I feel like like the dually sat. Like I didn't drive the dually for like a month. And I'm just like, this is silly. Like we're paying for the dually. We don't use the dually. Let's sell the dually. Okay. And they might think, okay, what's well, then just sell the dually. Like, why, why, why you gotta, why you gotta get rid of your truck? And then I was like, what if we sell the dually and sell my truck and trade them both in for one new truck that can also pull a gooseneck, but isn't a big dually. Like, I like the dually, but it's just kind of, she got a fat ass. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just, a, it's a wide load, Banjo. You know what? Can I say it? Uh, you driven it? Yeah. She's wide. You going through drive through? Yeah, you ain't. You knocking down the post on the way in. So it's like, I don't use it as often. Did you catch a cock? What'd you do? Yeah. You relax. Don't touch that. What, pork chop. What do you think, pork chop? What truck should we get, pork chop? So anyways, I'm doing a two for one special. My goal is to take my truck, my personal truck, my F-250 in. It's got some damage. It's high miles. I get it. Okay. And then we got the Dually, which only has like 11,000 miles on it. We hardly drove it. It's a brand new truck. Bring them both in, trade them in and come home with one new vehicle. The issue is we don't know what we're getting. So I hit up my boys at Sid Dillon. You guys know they're my boys. They've hooked us up with the box truck. We got the Dually through them. We got Macy's car through them. Like, Sid Dillon is the place to go if you're in the Omaha area. And so I hit up my boy Chase and I said, I'm thinking about doing this. I'm not using the dually as much. And I think I, it's time to maybe get rid of old white truck. If I bring them both in, you got something cool. And he's like, I've got a few things that are actually pretty cool, but you're going to need to come in and see them for yourself. So I, I trust 
Chase, he, he knows my style. He knows what I like. He's the truck guy. He knows when trucks are cool. He's always driven really cool trucks. So he told me he's going to select three trucks for us, three different brands. He knows I'm kind of a Ford guy, but I like the Dually, which is a Chevy. But Albanjo's got a GMC, and it's pretty sweet too. And then, like, you know, Jake drives a Ram, and I like that truck as well. I've also had a couple other Rams myself. And so he said he's going to pick three trucks that he thinks would be cool for us to have. Three different brands. We're going to go there. We're going to see them. We're going to test drive them. And at the end of this video, we are going to go home with one of them, and we are going to have a new truck. But again, we're trading two in for one. So the idea is it's not supposed to cost any money. It's just to reduce the, the fleet. Like, you got to pay car insurance for these things. You got to fuel them both. Like, it's expensive to have multiple vehicles. I'm trying to save money for the pond. So I said, let's just go down to one, and whatever truck I get, I'll put in a gooseneck ball, and then it can haul the gooseneck trailer. Problem solved. We don't need two trucks. We just need one. So that's the plan. If you're wondering why, I just, I, you guys, Flair, you're supposed to save money for the pond, damn it. Okay, I, Listen, Rick, this is the idea. This is going to, in the long run, save me more money. We're not gonna have two car insurance payments. We're not gonna have to fuel two of them. It's gonna work out, just trust me. But anyways, the rabbits over here, they're doing rabbit things. I don't know why it's blowing 47,000 yeah, miles an hour. Windy earlier. It's super windy, but rabbits are doing good, okay? There's really not a whole lot going on with these guys, other than I've been seeing them parkour up on that little igloo of theirs. Look at Theo eating that nice hay. Get it, Theo. Quit hey, digging, Theo. Dig Theo, Banjo's hungry, don't tempt him. Quit digging, Theo. Banjo catch and cook your ass, you do that. Don't do it, Theo. What's buddy lounging back there? There for he, is he taking a nap? Is big dab up. It should wake up the beast. Come on, dab, get up, dab. We ain't got time, dab. Let's go. Oh, here yeah. comes dab. There's dab. Dab, don't miss a meal. Come on, dab, move it or lose it. Pork chop. Here, come here, pork chop. No way. Come here, pork. No oh, way. Pork chop. What's up, buddy? Come here, dab. There you go, dab. Pork chop. Here, pork chop. Pork chop. Dab's gonna kick your ass. Pork chop. Here, dab. You want the scoop? Straight from the scoop, Deb. Hey. hey, you calm down. Get him, pork chop. Come on. Get him, pork chop. Like All right, Deb, I'll just. I guess Deb wants to eat it off the ground. So, anyways, pigs are doing good. Rabbits are good. What do you think Rob's up to? Nothing good. You know how we when we got the giveaway ATV, I took it in the pen and drove it around, tried no, to get the new no, truck? No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Could you imagine? He just boom, he ended up looking just like, like fly. Yeah, the white it looked one. like the white one. Yeah, that'd yeah, be bad. That'd imagine if it's high stick in the hood and just boom. Yeah. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Big boy, Rob. Is you scared you, Rob? Right? My face. Oh. Come here, buddy. How's it going, Rob? <laughs> how you going, Dale? Hey, Ricky. How you? Shut up. I don't want to hear it. Man, go ring that thing's neck. I'm kidding. Just calm down. It's a joke. Okay. How you doing, big boy? You being good? Uh, should we bring the new truck in the pasture and take it for a whip? Ralph. Ralph, I vote we bring the new truck in the animal pasture and you chase me. Ralph's about it. I think yeah. he thinks it's a good idea. What do you think, big boy? Carol, what are you doing back there, Carol? Carol, tell your friend to shut up. I don't know why that thing always be doing something. Every time I'm talking, like, see, if I be quiet. And then I start talking real loud, and then shut up. What's the point? Hi, buddy. How you doing? You what do you think? You Ford guy, Ram guy, GMC guy, Chevy guy. He looks like a Honda kind of guy. Really? Fine. Yeah. Let's go. I, toward a Corolla. I'm thinking. Ah, yeah. Ralph's a yeah. Ralph's a Corolla. Yeah. I can see Ralph bombing in a Corolla. I could definitely see that. So animals are doing good. Want to give you guys an update? You guys are always wanting to see the animals. Carol's good. Carlos is looking thick and burly per usual. That thing don't shut up. Ralph's hanging out. Everything's good. Everything's chilling. Same with Dale's these guys. Thick. Dale, get him, Dale. What are you floss? What are you doing over there? Anyways, so that's the plan. Just want to give you guys a quick animal update. We are going to grab the dually and we're gonna grab my truck. We're actually gonna to go to a car wash because both of them are filthy and I don't want to drop off a truck really dirty. At least make for the detail guys job. Make it just a little bit yeah, easier. I use the detail trucks, so I appreciate that. You most see? Don't they see? Don't. They see? I would cook it dirty. <laughs> see, I, you're that guy. I'm just gonna at least get the mud clods off of it, make it look a little bit clean. So we're gonna jump in the trucks, we're gonna head to the car wash, get everything nice and sparkling clean, and go see once and for all which three trucks chase picked out for us we're gonna have to select one maybe we just put on the roulette wheel Ooh, Ooh. I like a big roulette wheel guy you guys stay tuned all right, so this is the Dooley. In case you're new here, so she's not bad, but it just needs a little wash down. So just just needs a little touch up. Okay, now my truck. Look, that's seen some stuff. Okay, because yeah, I mean like the front, like it's not bad, and I like that truck. It's a really nice truck, but like I said, the wide body on it is not the. Be it's really good when you're towing, but when you're not towing, low key, not all that enjoyable. So my truck, on the other hand, it has seen better days. This is where we got the old bump. And now it's covered in mud. And I mean, there's so many cool things with this truck. It's got the automatic cover. I've got like 40 gallon fuel tank in this. It's leveled. It's got new tires. It's got the bumper guard right here. It's got an LED light upgrade. It's got the winch. We've put some money into this sucker. But yeah, she's dirty. I mean, dirty girl. 
Look at that. Yeah, that's, been, get that that's been there for a minute. God, son. A minute. She's been like that for a minute. So we're gonna give her a quick bath, get her nice and shined up, so we take them in there, hopefully get top dollar. You guys stay tuned. I'm soaked, but it's clean-ish. How's that going? They got a lettuce seed. I'm like complete. I'm like completely soaking wet. But Dooley's looking sparkly clean-ish. This truck's looking sparkly clean-ish. Way better than what it was. I mean, you saw the dirt, the the compounded dirt. It's turned into quick creep. Okay, we got her done. So it's at least halfway presentable. Now, at least you can really see the damage here. And they get when they because they're gonna assess the damage and then put a value on it. And then they're gonna assess what this thing's worth. Hopefully, combine them in two used vehicles with a little bit of damage. A lot of miles, a little miles equals one new truck. That's at least the plan. So, bam, she's clean, she's clean. We'll see you guys at Sid Dillon. Alright, we have made it to Sid Dillon, ladies and gentlemen. I see the three vehicles already pulled out, Banjo. You've got the blue one, the red one, and I'll the Camaro. You want the Camaro? Alright, Banjo already said he wants the Camaro. Yeah, that's it. We're no trucks. That's what we said. Maybe we like take the blue one. But how's it going? Good. 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 How are you? Good. 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 Long time no see. Yeah, we, we brought you some jerky. Thank you. All. There you go. Appreciate it. It's yeah. Overwhelmed. Yeah. So, have you seen the condition of the white truck uh, from uh, it, afar? Right. It's it, good. From, right? From, right now, it looks good. I'll shine. Let's. Up. Let's. Let's. It's yeah. See, I gave her a little yeah, rinse. Yeah. yeah see. Right. Okay. This is one of them? What do you, what do you, I don't even know what this is. I've never seen a truck like this. Is it a bison? What's a bison? Oh, this is, this is, is, a, is it new? It's new. It, it's yeah. a kind of a new model, three quarter ton, but this bison edition has like a factory lift kit. So it's, it, it's a ZR2 bison. So it's got a factory lift kit, some like cool wheels. Really? See, I'm not like a Chevy guy. So like I haven't kept up with the new. So this is like the latest and greatest? Exactly. Really? Greatest and greatest. Wow. <laughs> Dude, this thing is, I don't even know if I've seen these on the like road. It looks like your truck. Like, it, as with it, the whole setup yeah. being big. You I know? Because on my truck, we leveled it. We got new tires. We did all the cool stuff. This one looks like it's already got all the cool stuff. Solid steel. Oh, yeah, it is. Indestructible. Don't weird. tell me indestructible, all right? But we'll test that. I'd say this looks just like my truck, and I personally, I love my truck. So I will say, what what do we got here? This is yeah, a little little tip teaser like yours. This is used, but it's like a year old, doesn't have very many miles. Pretty, Pretty much, much the same thing. Didn't know, you know, used truck, maybe save a little money, kind of deal. Hey, hey, that's, I'm that's all about that. We're, 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 we're here to yeah. save. Yeah. So I mean, that looks almost identical to my truck. Yeah, very like similar. very similar. Is it? It's a Larry. I mean, it's literally identical. Yeah, this yeah. thing is. Yeah, this looks. Lit. Wow. This is so weird seeing like a new version of my truck like up close and personal. What year is this one? 22. 22. Okay. So yeah, I mean yeah, pretty much new. Years. So we could get oh, basically the same truck or whatever a ZR2 is. I'm interested bison. in that. Like whatever bison. bison. Yeah. yeah is. is this in the fleet too or what's going on here? So this is a GMC Sierra AT4. Which is big, like big GMC guy. Yeah, yeah, or I like yeah, the yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like an off-road package. It, it doesn't have a lift like, okay. like the ZR2, um, but it's got some more aggressive tires. Dude, that thing still looks freaking yeah. sweet. Yeah. yeah. This is really cool. Cool. What is like? What's an AT4? I'm saying I'm not like a GMC guy. I really, I don't know what. It, it's just like a model code. You gotcha. You know, like an option it code just looks cool. It's the cool one. It's, it's like That's all you need to go. Like, That's like, what the cool guys have. You don't. You don't have AT4. I don't have AT4. I'm not that. Cool. Really, no. Ninja's not that cool. So those. Those are the three that were. You could get a little bison jerky rolling. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I like where he's just saying. Dude, the bison's slick, dude. Y'all want a beefcake orange or no? The bison's slick. I like that. What about the? Is that? Is that in the lineup too, or what is it? No, not really. But it was just. Up here, so we thought we'd leave it. Dude, I've never actually seen these. That? It's a Hummer. It's an electric Hummer. Dang. Dude, I do see one. I would need to ask if the, is that is that one in the lineup? <laughs> <laughs> Banjo wants a fat. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and say. I want to see Andrew drive a Wow, today. dude, it, it's, it's electric. What the heck? Huh? Oh my god. Why is that thing so wide? I was like, this thing is. Yeah. Does it self drive at all? Does it have like yeah, any? Does it? No way, no way, dude. Wide. Oh my! I, mean, I guess it's a little bit more than the other vehicles we're looking at. I'm just gonna take a stab. A, a, a little, like not not much. More really? Than that, but yeah. But it is a little more. Like Twenty thousand dollars more. So you you plug it in though? Like is that, I mean, it's that's how it works. Didn't even. I've never seen yeah. these before. That thing is 
so cool. See, I can't have nice stuff like this though. Like this is like this is okay. See, I can't have this is too nice. Look at this, dude. Look at the dash. All electric. This thing smells too nice. Yeah, see, that smells way too nice, dude. This is crazy. I've never actually seen one in person like this. So it must be obviously really quiet. Like yeah, super. It's like a Tesla kind of thing. Oh my gosh. Fast. You like you like fast. See, I can't have that's. I feel like that's too nice. Like that's that's like. Plus it doesn't have a bed, you know, we got, we you need a place to put the deer, right? Put a deer on the top of that, I feel like. Yeah, you'd have to have a trailer. So we've got GMC Sierra AT4. We've got basically a copy of what I've already, I just literally brought just a, an upgrade, okay? Maybe slightly cheaper because it's used or whatever bison is. I like the, I like the bison just because I've never heard of it. Like that's a, it's a completely new concept. Does it have like a fancy tailgate? I feel like it might. Where it like breaks down in multiple, whoa. Oh. For catch clean cooks right here, you yeah, flay your yeah, fish. I yeah, like yeah, that. I, I like that. So now I put that one back up, or you just push yeah, the button. So, yeah, let's put it back up. Oh! oh Dang! You're gonna need that. You're getting old. I say I'm getting old. I yeah. Can, oh, yeah. Look at that. See, this is slick. Man, I like that truck because it looks just like mine, and I, I like my truck. When I got it, it was like it's, it's what I wanted. It's exactly what I wanted. This makes me question things though. And I like, the Dually's a Chevy, and I liked it. Like, so far, I, I have liked everything about the Dually. There's no complaints there. A ZR2, should we check out inside? Check like, out the inside. The old bison. <laughs> I just like, because I've never seen, like, I feel like no one else has this. So I'm like, I feel like this would be kind of a cool, like, in my white truck, it's oh, cool, dang. but oh my, yeah, get out of here. It's a bit of, of an here. upgrade from the Dually interior. Wow. Wow. Yeah, might need a little yeah, running board action. Banjo. Yeah. It says bison in the headrest. Heated seats in the back. <laughs> Heated seats in the back? Yeah. Just for banjo? Yep. Yeah. Dude, this is like... Oh, oh. Pockets right here. Like oh, those. those are slick. Yeah, it's where you put your jerky. I was going to say, we can put our jerky there. Yeah. And then Big Junior's piece. Bro, wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They say you stay strapped and you get jerky. Oh, my God. The screen, dude. Like, yeah. Look at this. Yeah, I feel like I should try it. Because, I, I, again, I know what that's going to feel like. And the AT4 is just similar. This is, what lift is on it? Like, is it like a two inch or is it just leveled or what is it? Inch and a half. So it's just. It's got 35 inch tires. See, it feels tall. Like, it feels taller than my truck. Should we take it for, take it for a rip? This is way too nice, I feel yeah, like. No, Look is, at this. What are we, what is, are we in an IMAX movie? How do we what is this, video on there? This is crazy. Yeah, can we play the videos on there? Hey, that worked. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. We got it. Okay. What 601 you? miles? How big is this fuel tank? I feel like that's I mean, an that's excessive great, amount of... That's a great of, question. We can make lot. it to Canada, I feel yeah, like. Because I upgraded mine, and mine's like 400. Yeah. And now it's like a 35 or 40 gallon tank. Holy smokes. Does the fuel efficiency pretty good on this thing? It must be. I, for, for 600 miles? That's a ton. I feel like that's quite a bit. All right. Focus on driving. Should I, should oh, I stay in just, demo mode or are you thinking here? Yeah, if you click that stay in demo okay. mode. Okay, all right. Yeah, hey, this, you big Google Maps guy? I am a big oh, Google Maps gross. guy. Let's go. Uh, Let's go. Mean, no Apple, Apple Maps. Maps. No, <laughs> get out of here with that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see. I, okay, so the Dually had that. I'm used to So it's not like terribly unfamiliar to me. This is, reminds me of the Dually. You can Actually, talk to it? Am I talking right now? Yeah. Go to go to beefcakejerky.com. Sorry, I didn't understand. Nah, I'm not taking it. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> this is just insane. This is so like no, high tech stuff. looking. Where's, does it drive itself? I assume. This, this, I assume this one not. doesn't. We'll, but we'll hop in the Hummer and we'll self shut that one. Really? <laughs> okay, this thing feels like a unit, dude. Oh, okay. I really like this. Oh, dang. It's Look got the that. same thing as the old, the old 360. All right, don't hit stuff. That's good. That's what we need. What engine's in this? Is it the same as the, the six Dually? Or? Six liter okay. diesel. Diesel action. Big diesel guy. It's got heated steering wheel. See, this reminds me, like Macy's car is similar to this, so it's not like terrible. Same forward. color. True. Oh, true. You can match. Yeah. I can we match. Can we beat. See, we used to match. Macy used to have a white Jeep. I had a white truck. Then we upgraded her car to gray. Maybe I should just get this just to match. Might be right. This thing's slick, dude. Yeah. Smooth. It's quiet. Smooth. It, 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 is it is really quiet. Because I upgraded the suspension for it's better than stock. Stock is not good. So this does this have an upgraded suspension? I would assume, like from stock. Do you know, or is it just is it just lifted? It's a different suspension system. They call it like multi valve dampening, something like that. Sounds fancy to me. Look at the you see the, the yellow like, like this is really cool. What kind of truck do you have? Bison a bison. Kind of. I mean, I feel like people. Are you like, what are you talking about? Bison. Don't worry about it. I drive a bison. Lately. I feel like it'd be it's cool. It's different. Like this thing. Oh god, yeah. You got outlets in there. That's good. <laughs> Turning race definitely better than the four. I can tell you that. Yeah, that thing don't. That thing don't turn. This thing's so sweet. Good. I like good this thing. This like thing's it. sweet, dude. 
it's like a combination of the Dooley and your truck. Yeah, yeah. that's, that's why I was gonna say. It reminds me of it, both. Yeah, it, it does remind me a lot of the Dooley. The Dooley is slick, but it's not the most comfortable ride because it's designed Dooley, to, to yeah. tow. This is kind of best of both worlds. Do we know how many speed transmission this is? 10? Yeah. See, my Ford's a six, and that's why the gas mounts are terrible. Yeah. You're automatically gonna have better gas mounts with something like this. They came out with a 10 speed for the F-250 the year after I bought, buy yeah, yours? classic. <laughs> yeah, classic. yeah, I was like, oh, okay. Smoke. I like 12 miles a gallon, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. This guy here? Yeah, does your Julie have that yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, it does have that, camera. look at that. And then you can actually see. This is tough to be. Big moonroof guy, huh, Banjo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what do you think, Banjo, you like this? Is this, like is this a good one? Yeah, this is pretty good. I don't know if you're gonna be able to top this one. What about the Hummer? You think the Hummer's gonna top it? <laughs> <laughs> or the Corvette. Or the Corvette? Corvette would be slick. I don't know what we do with it. I don't know <laughs> either. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a lot of laughs> trouble, we get stuck so fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, boys, we're gonna park this. Are we gonna take the Hummer for? Yeah, if you I don't wanna, I'm not driving it. There's no way, yeah, but I'm if not, you'll drive it, I would, I would okay. gladly ride in it. All right, boys, we're taking the Hummer for a rip. This is a terrible idea. I don't know why Chase let us do this, but I'm not driving because I don't want to break. Look, look at this. Ooh. You notice that? Yeah. How's that work? Okay, all right. Let's see what's going on here. Dude, the screen is insane. Yeah, cool. How are you feeling back there? Like you, you look like you got plenty of room. Yeah. Maybe we can get some work done back here. Does the yeah. top come off this thing too? Yeah, so oh, like it's it does, got four it? panels that come off. And just opens it up like kind of like yeah. a Jeep would or something? Yeah, like a Whoa. Jeep. Whoa. Really? Top down, nice Banjo, huh? Off. Really? Yeah. Big top off guy, huh? Okay. Okay, I didn't realize the car was on. That was wild. Oh, whoa. Like, <laughs> moving. Moving. This is crazy. Oh, somebody's door still open, JK. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Now you got it. I see on there it's saying 248 miles the yeah. per, per charge. It was charged up to 100%, but that, that's about right. Yeah, they, 250. They, they only want you to charge them to 80% to like help. The, with the battery, battery like, yeah, that's, that's interesting. I mean, you can charge us to 100, just not every time. Gotcha. This is insanely quiet. Like, it's like Spaceship eerie. Noise. Yeah, it does. Oh, you like this? Yeah. You're, you're what, on the what? I feel like I'm on the moon. Really? Yeah. This is such a strange, yeah, there this is. There is some moon. Like on the speakers, there's like moon, it's like a topographic. Oh yeah. Weird. So Banjo's on, he's on par with the moon thing. This is like a, the yo, Mars rover or something. This is nuts. I mean, just the size of this vent just seems excessive. Like it's so <laughs> big, dude. <laughs> this is so crazy. Give it some juice up to the speed limit. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> dude, I feel like we just did a wheel. No I know way. The it goes up so no. high. Wow. I don't, I don't no, wow. No, see, I can't see if I had this. We would get into a lot of trouble and we couldn't do that. That was insane. Wow. I've I've seen YouTube videos where people are in like Teslas and with like the plaid edition where they just say like the G force of it is like crazy. I've actually never experienced that. It like takes your breath away. You, you yeah. can't move, you can't like, breathe. That was the oddest the thing. Yeah. This is crazy. And I bet this thing weighs a ton. It's got to, right? Yeah, it weighs, it's like, like close to 10,000 pounds. Holy. Wow. <laughs> we just shipped one to Texas for a guy who, who bought one from us and the, the shipping company charged us extra because they weigh Because so it was so heavy? This is just nuts. Is it funny how the front end? The front end literally like picks up. You feel yeah. like you're like That's launching. This is crazy. Sick. And then they've got like different features where it'll self drive and do yeah, all that stuff. This, this driving is maybe not not set up quite yet. Not available. Yeah, this is still like in demo mode. Gotcha. That's the fact that you could be in this big of a vehicle and it just just say, hey, I want to go here, and it just goes. It's mind blowing to me. Because like Teslas are cool, and I know there's the Cybertruck, but like obviously I'm not gonna drive a little car. I would want something big. This thing would be slick. But again, definitely too nice for what we do. No, we don't place to put the deer. Place to put the ducks. Okay. Is it room enough back there for the deer? Or yeah, no? maybe small one. The size Banjo shoots. Yeah. yeah. Banjo could do Spot. it because he shoots the small ones. Put them back there. Okay. Shoo! All right, I'll take two. You don't have to twist my arm. That was cool. That was insane. That <laughs> that thing scares the hell out of me. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's too fast, too heavy. It felt like we were like this when that thing was moving forward, like a boat when you got it on the river. And now, if they make this in like a full-size pickup truck, place for our deer, okay, now you might be onto something. We are back at the house, ladies and gentlemen. Wheeled and dealed and officially came home with my personal, now one and only, truck. This is what we got. We got the Chevy 2500 HD ZR2 Bison. It was too unique. Okay, I'm just like, listen, I love the white Larian. I, like, I, I love it, 
It's still probably my favorite looking truck, but this thing, I don't, we, we were driving home and I was w looking at every truck on the way home. I didn't see one. Like maybe you guys are like, Flair, these are everywhere. But like, I just, I haven't seen them. I've seen the little, what are they, Colorados? Colorado yeah. bison. Those, yeah. I've seen those, but a 2500 plus this color is pretty dang close to matching Macy's car, which she's not here right now, but side by side, they would look pretty slick. And this is factory. Look at this. Can you get a shot of that? What does that even say? Multima, what? What's yeah. that say? I don't know, but it's cool. It does the springy thing. No, we rode it back here. And it's, it's just, and it's just, you're just riding. You know what I mean? So, and then it's got, I mean, all the, just, you can't, you can't really hurt the thing. And if you got to yank on something, you got them too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This is cool. Like that. So you do this, right? And that'll open both, yeah. Then you grab this. See, I'm getting old, man. This is, this is what I need. Now, my Ford had a little pullout drawer, and I used it a lot, to be honest. And yeah, you just... It's tall. You need it. <laughs> this is tall. You're way up there. This is this is getting up there. So, what I need your guys' help on is, what's this thing missing? I mean, I love the automatic cover I had on my last truck, so might have to see if we can get one of those, just because it's nice to keep everything kind of dry. But, like, what else is this? Does it need tint? Okay, maybe. It's got a little bit of a tint right here. A little fishbowl going it's got, on it's got, a, it's got a little bit. Could make it look like this probably not legal but whatever running boards definitely needs running boards because i can barely get an as is what was this thing missing i mean it's got the blacked out handles already like i like the there's not a ton of chrome i'm yeah. kind of an not an anti-chrome guy i just i like the look i like the clean it's got little hints it's got little little accents but i mean this i think this red's pretty slick I, oh yeah we should pop the hook i guess right what's i gotta see, what, see what's under this sucker this inside is so nice How's that, Banjo? Is that working? Yolly! Woo! The old Duramax 6.6 .6 liter. HD. Diesel. Freaking diesel. I can't even get up there. She's so <laughs> she's so da she's so damn tall. You need a foot step yeah. to change the oil in this thing. I mean, she's looking pretty good. So that's what we need to know. Like, this thing was probably the most built out truck they had you know we could have gotten something more stock and then added i mean like these bumper like what, what do you like what do you grill. do I like yeah, the, looks, really the grill looks slick good. yeah so it's like we that's what we need your help what upgrades do you want to see i ain't lifting any higher all right damn it all right barely <laughs> get in it as is don't want to lift it maybe some running awards maybe some tint maybe a bed cover but like so you know what I mean? used to have a big old topper. I had a topper. Can we top it? We can put a lot of stuff in Should there. Should we rock a topper? Are we going to be a topper, guys? This thing would be a tank with a topper. Dude, with the top of this thing, it might look cool. It might look it's, cool. We can put a lot the, of stuff in there. I'll say the topper, I used to use the top. Like back when I was like traveling on fishing, the topper was great. The only time the topper's not great is if you're like moving a couch. But it's like, how often are you doing but you that? you got 800 I, We also have a box truck. <laughs> we yeah. do we have a literal U-Haul. Yeah. Yeah. I mean like... Should we get a topper? Should we just? I'm trying to. I'm trying to imagine. I think it looks sweet. It would look like, huge. All right, pan, pan to here. We'll put a topper on us. There you, right there. Now you guys can see it. Should we, dude? A topper? It looks like a tank, dude. Yeah, I think so. Should we just rock a topper? I think we should. Flip a coin. We might have to. Shoot. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. You calm down below. If you guys think I should get a topper, I'll flip a coin and consider it. I've yeah, I haven't had a topper in years. It's been a long, long time since I've had a topper, and like, there's not really a downside to them. No. Like. Think about all the duck decoys we can put in the back. Yeah, you can just load stuff up, keeps it safe, well, we're keeps going it dry. We're hunting at the ranch. How much stuff yeah. we can put in there? I don't know. I don't hate the idea. Let me know. Does the bison need a topper? What else does it need? You guys can comment down below. But that is the brand new truck. No more dually. No more F-250. And if you guys want a chance to buy that dually or F-250, Sid Dillon is who has them now. They are now fixing them, okay? So don't think that they're going to sell that truck with the dents. They're going to fix them. In fact, I even told Chase, I said, when you get everything fixed, call me. I want to come see my truck with everything fixed because it's been years since I've seen that thing looking in pristine condition. Then they're going to put it on the lot. So I will keep you guys updated. But otherwise, you can call somebody to sit down and tell them, hey, I want Flair's truck. It's located in Fremont, Nebraska. Get your name on a list. If you guys want it, I mean, the F-250 has never let me down. No. I'll be honest. I, I beat it, and it never let me down. It always ran. It always did what it needed to do. So if you guys want it, Sid Dillon, down, link down in the description down below. If you guys want to go check it out, huge shout out to those guys for hooking us up with a brand new truck. I'm super excited to get to enjoy this thing. I know nothing about it. Like, I'm kind of a Ford guy. I've driven a little bit of everything, but, like, I got to start researching now. What What is a ZR2, and what can this sucker do? But if you guys know, comment down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you next time, and peace.